planning has always been trying to look at the long term and the the challenge of disaster kinds of situations is they often need an immediate response and uh, and if you have a political system that is tied to uh, the, the kinds of agendas that are often rather short term, it's very hard to step back and think about uh, the 10 year or the 20 year frame that is beyond an, uh, an election cycle and beyond anything like that. So the challenge for planning is to make the issues of long term sustainable kinds of challenges more tangible, more urgent, and also seeming to serve the present day. Well, I think there's still a, a great value in the, the kind of person who can be the translator across specializations, uh, the, the big picture, holistic person who's going to be able to, uh, to say, we can't understand the problems of water if we don't understand enough to talk to a, an environmental engineer and, and a policy maker and a designer and a transportation person and uh, and the challenges are, are to find people who uh, don't know everything because that's impossible since there's just so much going on but but are much more conscious of knowing what they don't know uh, and knowing what they need to know in order to communicate and, and to have a much larger sense of how the different pieces of the problem are connected and so uh, it means that the word planner has to have an immediate association with implementer as well. It's a bit of a challenge because um, to the extent that planning is tied to academia, there will always be a need for people to be uh, setting their mark for individual achievement and uh, groundbreaking thinking in a sometimes rather narrow way um, and yet the the nature of the problems uh, are such that uh, they need team approaches and and so I think there there is a need for uh, for planning to be truly influential um, it means that the people who are strong in academia need to have some kind of a setting um, uh, some kind of a, an interdisciplinary setting where more than one person is working on a problem together. Most of the valuable theorizing that will come to the planning field will come from close observation of practice and, and learning what works and why and who is responsible for that kind of, of, of uh, success uh, so that uh, it won't be just a, a question of developing a, a theory and then seeing if it could be tested out in the world in some way. Uh, the world itself will be the generator of theory, uh, but that means that we need people that know how to look at that world uh, and, and identify where success and innovation really is. The IHS has a tremendous potential to, to set an example of exactly the kind of uh, integrated education and learning that is really needed. And if it works, it will help not only India, but really begin to set a model for other places, not just in South Asia, but North America and Europe. Um, because um, what working on the IHS has done for uh, those of us who have spent 10 or 20 years struggling over curriculum development in highly constrained situations where, where you have the whole uh, faculty already in place doing what they do uh, and, and there's relatively little incremental change, uh, it offers an opportunity to stop, step back to first principles and say, well, how do we learn, what do we learn, what is urgent about this, uh, who do we need to, to put in place? And, uh, the opportunity to kind of go back to those initial questions is a very rare one in these fields uh, uh, to, to sit and, and try and reinvent based on where we need to be and what we need to solve and how we need to cope and who we need in the professions that will, will serve uh, each country in the next few decades is just a hugely exciting opportunity.
the fundamental question for the curriculum is how, uh, how do you transact interdisciplinarity uh, in, in how do you get uh, all of the, the, the different specializations to have a common sensibility uh, when, they, uh, when they become specialized and aren't in a university setting where they're constantly around everybody from all of these different uh, perspectives. And so uh, the big challenge is to figure out what is shared, what, you know, what uh, is there in what we're calling an urban commons uh, that people will share not only during the time that they're in the university, but in the time that they practice uh, and, and work together in their careers. If, if people are coming into the program, uh, the graduate program, directly from an undergraduate experience, have had relatively little time uh, to, to have a, a lens uh, on the world that is an analytical one, how do you do that in the curriculum? Uh, you know, are internships enough? Are, are, are practica enough? Um, I, I, I worry about that because ultimately what we're asking for is a level of intellectual maturity and emotional maturity uh, that, that learns how to, to really uh, understand uh, not a technical problem or not just a technical problem, but all of the socio-political aspects of a technical problem. Um, and all of the technical aspects of a socio-political problem. 